Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to convert the MS Access Connectivity Path to SQL Server Connection Code. Uh, so, in some particular projects, app.path will be there and how to uh, make connection to the SQL Server. So, app.path uh, syntax is explicitly only for the MS Access. If you want to do an SQL Server, first you have to convert the database to the M SQL Server database. So if you want to convert so the link will be available in the description you can refer that and you can convert it. So I had already converted it to the SQL server database that is automobile database and now we can open the data VB application. I'll open my project. So this is my project. I'll run this. So if I save any new automobile, so I'll save this. So it is saved successfully. If you go to your database in the SQL and if you check in the stock, that is vehicles so what i was saved now the new price i have saved right that is not available in the database they say changes will is not reflecting to the database that is because of this path like app dot path So whatever you are saving in VV6, it will be saved to the app.path automobiles.mdb. MDB means MS Access Database. So to make it to available in the SQL servers, you have to change some codings. So we will see one by one. So you have to declare a variable. Gym C O N as new adopt. See here in this event, the adopt is not coming. For that, you have to go here and right click it, add components. Here you can select the control ADO. See here the Microsoft ADO data control 6.0 OLEDB then give apply so it is appeared here you can select any one of the form and place this ad hoc here so the ad hoc dc and go to the property in connection string so you can select the connection string and give build Here, select provided for SQL server then give next and here you can enter the server name so the SQL server it will be available in the object explorer this is the server name I'll enter it to here then click use window NG and here you can select your database Automobile database, then test connection. Okay, okay. Then select this entire path.
then apply you ok now go to the form if we give new adopt now it will be coming here and dot connection enter dim rs as new adopt dot record set so these are the two variables you have to declare as a general for each and every forms now i'll change this in form load you have to specify the path as well as the record set i'll make this as a comment as the comments are not executed you can make this as a comment and you can specify the new path. CON dot open. Open the quotation. Paste your path that before you have copied. And close the quotation. Then give next. Now again RS dot open. You can select this path for this table and you can copy it and again paste here now comma con comma open add open dynamic comma add lock obstinate comma add cmd text then enter so sometimes um, the operation will be denied when the database is open. For that, you have to give the if condition that if c1 dot state, then enter c1 dot close, enter end if. Likewise, give for rs statement also. So your if rs dot state, then enter rs dot close and if now i select this declaration statement and i'll paste for every form Same like declaration, copy the path code in the form load and place it wherever the path is specified each and every form. So I'll copy this and I'll go to the next form and here search the form load. Here it is form load. So make this as comment, then you'll copy paste it here. Control V. And here you can here select staff from customer it is placed. So go to this statement and make the same vehicles to the customer. So same like this you have to place the uh, this set of codes from here to here. Copy this and place it for each and every form in the form load method. So I'll make this and now I had paste all the set of codes in each and every form in load method now we'll see some other codings so go to the form apart from this load check whether anyway the path is specified or not so see here in this the path is specified and here the record is selected so make this path as comment and this records it as comment then go to next line then start typing rs dot open and select this entire line from this quotation to end of the line and copy this and again go here and paste it and remove this bracket same like do for each and every command in the particular form next rs dot open and again select this lines copy it 
and paste here then erase it and click comma c o n add open dynamic comma add lock optimistic comma add c m m d text same like this do for every comments placed in the form and for every form you have to modify this particular comments so here also i'll change this and i'll show you now i had changed all the codings in all the forms so whichever is in green color that those are comments and followed by that i have changed all the codes Here you can see here only in the form load the provider path should be there in every comment. Like uh, if they have placed some comments, like uh, if they placed apart from load, if they placed any comments, you have to change only the open record set. Means like adding the connection, add op open dynamic that one have to change, and rest all like uh, the path should be put in the comment. And whenever they give like rs dot edit, you should not include that in your coding. You should put that in comment so that the MS access will support rs dot edit, whereas the adopt DC will not supporting the rs dot edit. Now we'll check whether it's working or not. I'll run the project. The new automobile will add. Save. See here, save successfully. Now we'll check whether this Pulsar to 20 is saved in the database or not. So this is my database. I'll select the vehicle and select top thousand rows. At the end, it is added successfully. So the path has been changed to the SQL. So by this way, you can change the path for the app dot path specified code. So I hope this is helpful for you, and hope it will be used. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.